Okay, today let's talk about names I loved for Sawyer but didn't choose. And we made this video on the suggestion of one of our subscribers. So thank you for that. It was kind of one I, I thought about making too. I think it's really interesting to know the reason someone picked a name. So if anyone would like to share in the comments some names that they may have on their list, names they're dreaming of naming their puppy if they don't have one yet, or if you just got a puppy and you're still confused about what you're naming yours, share with us. We would love to hear it. I'm sure other people would really like to also, and maybe somebody can get a great idea from one of your suggestions. Of course, these are going to be mostly boy dog names since Sawyer is a boy, though some I think could definitely be either boy or girl dog names, especially if you like unisex names. So let's get into it. First up is August. I'm not exactly sure what made me think of this name. It had never been on my radar before, but just came into my mind and it was my top choice. I think it's such a strong masculine name and I like that it's not common. It is a real name, a real human name, but I think it could lend itself to a dog very easily. The reason that I didn't go with August, apart from my family members not liking it and me being the only one to like it, is that I began to think what I or maybe other family members would start calling him. Would we shorten it to Augie? Because I really didn't like that Augie, doggy. It could be kind of cute, but so I didn't want to go with August. Next up is River. Again, I think it's a really strong name. I like that it has that hard consonant sound. I do like when you're calling your dog. I absolutely really do love this name. I think the reason that I didn't go for this name is I just simply felt that it didn't fit him. I feel like it's a name for a bigger dog or a dog that has a different look, maybe a dog with blue eyes, a husky, or maybe a larger dog like a golden retriever, adventurous, that loves the water. Actually, it could be really good too for a Weimaraner for their coloring, I think would be nice. So River is definitely still on my short list for a possible future puppy. On to the next one. Here we have Hutch. To me, it's another very manly dog name that I really, really like. And it's another one that my family mostly didn't like, though my son and I both did love this name and we really almost went with this name. I think ultimately the reason that I didn't go with Hutch was for me, it didn't seem like a long enough name. Again, I was a little worried that maybe it would become Hutchy just to kind of elongate it when you called him. I just find that that two syllable name seems to work best when calling a dog. So Hutch fell by the wayside. Next up is Bay. Again, this is a one syllable name, but that didn't make it a total deal breaker for me. My kids both really liked this name and we actually almost went with it for that reason. What I did like about it is its twofold meaning. Of course, nature being a body of water and hey, we live on an island and we love to go boating. And the other meaning is usually reserved for horses to describe their reddish coloring. So I did like those things about it. But ultimately, Again, I just didn't feel like it was long enough or enough of a name, and I couldn't imagine myself calling him just Bay. Again, I feel like I might start saying Bay Bay or just needing to add on to it. I did feel a little bit sad in that my daughter really loved this name, but ultimately it did go by the wayside. Okay, next up we have the name Bo. I actually really do like this name a lot. It is definitely still on my short list of puppy names. With this name, Bo, it's funny, but for me, spelling makes a huge difference. If it were just B-O or any other spelling, I really wouldn't like it. So Bo is still on my list of puppy names that I keep on my phone for future puppy. Okay, moving on. Next up is Gunner. Okay, I still really like this one too. It checks all the boxes for me. It's masculine, it has two syllables, so no weird nicknames. But the reason I didn't choose Gunner is I just didn't feel like it fit him. But I really do still like the name and it still could be on my list. 
Okay, then there were a few other names on my list that I wasn't honestly too serious about at all. I think I just started adding them because my family wasn't liking the other ones. And here's what they were. First up was Basil. My sister really liked this name and she wanted me to use it. And she was actually very disappointed when I didn't use it. But to me, Basil reminds me of a really British dog with a flannel cap or something, like a wishbone character. And ultimately, I, yeah, I just, I didn't want to name him after a spice. Although I think if maybe you had three dogs and you went with that as a theme and you did Basil, Ginger, and Sage, it could be kind of cute. But anyway, that wasn't going to be, so Basil had to go. Another hard maybe for me was Owen. I do still like the name. I wouldn't discount it for the future, but I just felt it didn't fit him. And I feel like it could be a very cute name for maybe a pug or a little dachshund. Bodhi was another one that I put on the list as a maybe. Again, just kind of fill the list in and see, throw some names around that my family might like. Bodhi, um, I kind of like it. I feel like it could be a little bit common. I'm not quite sure, but I just ultimately wasn't feeling it. And lastly, I was just looking again at my list that I still have on my phone and I did put the name Daniel. And for me, it's a little bit weird because it is genuinely a little boy's name and I really can't see a dog having that name except for the fact that I think I have an association of a Mr. Rogers character, or I know there's a Daniel Tiger now on something, but my kids aren't little anymore, but I know I've seen this and I think I associate it with a cute like little tiger puppet. So that's why I think I put it on the list. But ultimately, I couldn't really call my dog a name that I feel like I would name a son. So Daniel had to go too. Okay, so finally, let's talk about the name that I, of course, did go with, which is Sawyer. I did not have this name on my radar, but when I came across it, I really did love it. I found this name on a list because I was looking at puppy name lists and baby lists and nature names. There's very specific. You can Google so many different ways to find names, which is pretty fun and fascinating. As soon as I saw this name, it got put on the list. I love it because it checks the boxes for me. I do like that it has two syllables, so it just feels good when you call them. It feels easy. There's no strange nicknames generally that happen when you have those two syllables. I mean, don't get me wrong, we definitely do have nicknames in this family for our dogs and pretty much for everybody, but I do like the name to kind of remain the same when they're being called. But yes, I loved Sawyer because for me, it has that connotation of Tom Sawyer and an adventurous little boy. So a great name for an adventurous little dog, which he definitely is. I felt like it really fit him. It fit his look. I loved the way the name sounded. I loved the way that it looks written. And for me, I don't know, that's important. And we are so happy with that name. And hopefully he is too. An interesting side note is that actually the animals all have a bit of a link, all of the dogs, because they all do have a Y in their name, which was completely not planned, but Shiloh is spelt this way. I just changed it up because it's usually a boy dog name, or I think it was in that book or movie that is made from it, yes. So yeah, Shiloh, Quincy, and Sawyer, they all have a connection with that Y, which is kind of cool. I like it. Feel free to leave us feedback on the names, what you thought of them. Be kind if you really hated them. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this. I hope you found it interesting. And we will be back very soon with more of Sawyer's adventures and the whole gang too. So thanks everyone and we will see you soon. Bye.